Aloha everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and in this video we have the Samsung Galaxy Fit 2 and today we're going to focus on phone calls, texting, WhatsApp and just to reiterate, I have my Samsung Galaxy Fit 2 paired to my Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. First up, let's go ahead and try a phone call. Once your phone is ringing, your watch will also vibrate. Once you turn off the ringer, your watch will stop vibrating. And here you'll notice that the name is scrolling along the top and the phone number. The only option you see here is the red X. Let's try that again. So your only option here is to decline the phone call. And once you swipe to decline the phone call, the ringing will stop as well. Since we're on phone calls, let's go ahead and try WhatsApp phone call. So now our WhatsApp phone call is going through. And this time we receive no notification from our watch whatsoever, only from our phone. I just double checked and I did not have the WhatsApp notification on. Now let's go ahead and try the phone call on since I have the notification on. All right, so still no notification with the WhatsApp phone call. Now let's go ahead and try texting and WhatsApp messages. All right, so we just got the text message notification and you would just lift your arm to wake. Once you tap the notification, here we can see that it shows testing. So the first icon here will be to open it on the phone. The rest of these are preset messages and stay tuned because we'll show you where to change these. I'll go ahead and just select talk to you later for now and then you tap the arrow to send. And here on the second phone that we're using, we received the message. All right, so now we received our WhatsApp message, testing, and this is the same thing exactly, but just via WhatsApp. So let's go ahead and send much appreciated and tap the arrow send or the send arrow. Here on the phone, this is our WhatsApp application and we received the message much appreciated. That's how you will interact when you get messages is those quick settings or declining a phone call. Now let's go ahead and show you where to change those preset messages in case you want to change them. To change your quick settings, go ahead and open up your Galaxy wearable application. From here, you would just scroll down and tap on quick responses. And these are the quick responses that are preset that we saw earlier. So you can either tap the menu to edit. And if you select any of these, you can delete them. Or you can also reorder them if there's some you use more often. Let's go ahead and try adding one. So this is a common one for me, call you back, driving. Tap save. And here it's at the very top. Now, one of the things you can't do is add emojis. As you can see here, the emoji icon has been disabled. So you can only put text and you can kind of create your own emojis that way, if you want. Now that we've edited the quick response, let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so I just got the notification here on my watch. Scroll down, here's the quick response that we changed to and tap the arrow. And here it is on the second phone that we're using. The quick response feature is useful, but I would suggest definitely changing those up to customize your personality and the way you send messages to people. All right, so that's our quick video with the Samsung Galaxy Fit 2 in regards to phone calls and messages. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.